I have two different plans and I can't tell you when those will actually get completed because see I have my legal you know obligation is to finish my books <laughs> right but um, okay you know you guys know Jay Wells I gotta say a few things about Jay Wells because she's amazing first of all this book is dedicated to her okay second um, in the UK version which is what I have up here this is the UK version they, they said you know what we're gonna just show those Americans and make the title white <laughs> um, yeah, otherwise it's the same so uh, but in the back they have uh, an excerpt from her book called Dirty Magic which I am sure Powell's probably has in stock here or can order for you very quickly and I highly recommend it I wrote a blurb for it um, I think she is brilliant and her next book Cursed Moon which is a continuation of the Dirty Magic kind of series comes out August 5th so you can kind of dive into that and have fun it's about alchemy and uh, yeah have fun with it, it's good. And then, uh, but she wrote a, a previous series called the Sabina Kane series. And in that series, Sabina has a sidekick, like Atticus has Oberon. And her sidekick is one of those little wrinkly cats like Mick, Mr. Bickleforth in the Austin Powers movies. What are they called? Sphinx. Sphinx? Okay, I, I see, I just call them ugly. But, but they're, uh, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're, uh, this, this cat in the, in the, is really a mischief demon. And so Jay and I have been talking recently. We met each other in New Orleans and then at Phoenix Comic Con, and we just sat down a couple of times and we started plotting out a story together w that would feature Oberon and Gagool, this crazy cat, because what a great visual. This giant dog and this ugly ass tiny cat <laughs> together, uh, you know, trying to. Uh, Make the world. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah you'll, you'll, uh, hopefully you'll find this interesting what we're doing. So that's one thing. I also have a thing that uh, where, where Oberon would be telling a story featuring all dogs. He wouldn't be in it. He would be the narrator. You know, he's not in the adventure himself. Um, it would be called the Purloined Poodle. <laughs> uh, it, it's, a, it's this weird thing where uh, it's, it's a cross between a Sherlock Holmes, uh, Moby Dick, because of the names of the characters, and of course Edgar Allan Poe because of the pur purloined letter. It's sort of this, you know, nerdy mashup thing that only an English teacher would probably enjoy. But uh, that's another thing that I've, I've, I've begun it, and I just haven't had time to, to finish. So I don't know when those are going to happen, but yes, I've thought of the idea, and you know, uh, we'll try to get them finished someday. I also want to do the Dead Flea Scrolls. Nice. Uh, you know, the, the religion of, of uh, the dogs. I think that would be fun. I've written a, a, little, a couple of pages of that too. And had a great time, but then I was like, oh, I should probably make my deadline. <laughs>